Next, tonight at 10, the city of Fitchburg is double-checking whether money they gave to a local church violated the First Amendment. Amy Reed joins us now to explain why a nonprofit says it does. Amy? As part of its new Healthy Neighborhood Initiative, the city of Fitchburg pledged to reimburse up to $10,000 for some events held by Chapel Valley Church. The city hasn't paid the church yet, and now city staff is figuring out if they will at all. The church assured the city that the projects they were funding were going to be secular. They said on their application this will uh, not be for religious purposes. Ryan Jane with the Freedom From Religion Foundation said research his group did shows the Chapel Valley Church was intending to use public funds to share their religion at a community event. The church applied for the money through Fitchburg's Healthy Neighborhood Initiative. The 10000 was to be reimbursed after the event happened. The church couldn't meet on camera, but a pastor told me over the phone there wasn't any ministering at this event. During one of his sermons, which are held at a local elementary school, another pastor said the goal of the event was to bring the light of Jesus in us wherever they go. Jane said during the sermon, the pastor also encouraged congregants to minister to people there. Mayor Aaron Richardson said his staff is looking into it, doing some of the same research the foundation did, but also talking to alders who went to the church's event. They do a great job and they're a great partner for the city. We just want to make sure if we're providing funds towards that, that it's not doing something that's inappropriate. He said he's not sure yet whether the church violated their agreement or not, but regardless, in the future, he and his staff are checking the process for this program and making sure the line between church and state is clear. If they are getting city funds, then my expectation would be that they wouldn't be promoting it at all. Richardson said his staff will be looking at this for the rest of the week. Depending on what they find, they'll figure out next steps, which could include not reimbursing the church for this event.